Okay, it's the weekend again. Now, uh, I came down here in the week and I was, as you'd expect, just exceptionally tired as I always am. Um, but today it's a fresh day. Um, it's pretty much the last weekend that I, I have to get this thing down on the deck. So phase one really has to be pretty much completed, save for a bit of tidying up today. Um, so what have I done since we last spoke? Now I have done the brake calipers. Uh, well, I said I've done the brake calipers, had a bit of a nightmare. So I put one of the front brake calipers together, went together fine. The other one, the rubber boot, it uh, stretched and split. Um, not what you'd expect. So quite often people poke these things down with a, um, a screwdriver or whatever, but no, it, it actually split at the at the opposite end, which is really unusual. And then continued to split in several other places along the same lines. So I'm guessing faulty. But I uh, emailed Big Red at night saying, oh, for the love of God, please help me to get this thing back together. And uh, they came back saying, yeah, no problem, with someone straight in the post first class for you. So just waiting for that to arrive and I can get that caliper together, hopefully. Hopefully that'll be here today. Um, I also decided to put the uh, brake servo master back together and that's now in the car. So today, what I need to do is finish assembling all the brakes. I've got a few more brake pipes to make up in the engine bay. I've got to fit the anti-roll bar. Um, the front section of that is now all bolted up, um, loosely bolted up. So I'm gonna get it all into the right position, make sure it's centralized because that can cause some, some weird handling. Um, and then once that's done, play the brakes up, which might take a bit of time because there's obviously no brake fluid in it, it's going to be all air. Uh, I've got a vacuum bleeder now there to do that with. Um, and then maybe get it down on the deck. Really excited about the idea of doing that. I'm, I'm, there's going to be a couple of little bits I need to just um, just touch in where things like where the axle stands were or where I've rubbed it would have been underneath the car or what have you. So there's a bit of work to be done. Um, but I'm feeling confident that I'll have it done today at some point. Probably by the end of this, I'm going to be looking very tired because uh, I will most likely just carry on going till it's till it's complete. So, fingers crossed. Um, one problem, obviously, with the vacuum bleeding, uh, I need to use a compressor, which, as you may remember, is slightly um, loud. Um, so I obviously can't do that too late at night. But here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, so I'm about to fit the anti-roll bar up here. And you'll notice I've got a nut on the end. It's not just to protect the uh, protect the actual bar itself and the paintwork. It's actually, uh, the pads are down here. It's actually because they're left and right hand threads. If you get it wrong, um, that can be a bit of a problem. Okay, it's just approaching lunchtime and uh, sun's still out, lens flare. Lower arms are all in. I've put the uh, roll bar in, that's all there. You'll notice I haven't painted the drive shafts or the uh, the steering arms yet, but I shall do all that when uh, when I have the engine engine all out. But just uh, yeah, it's good progress. Both sides are now done. Next off is getting some of the brake lines that need to be finished finished, and of course um, putting in the calipers and brakes and such. But I might treat myself to putting the caliper on the other side just to see how it looks because well, I kind of fancy it rather than anything else. Okay, yes, I couldn't resist, and I've bolted the brakes up here behind the wheels. There is just enough clearance, which is perfect, and I'm just absolutely loving the way this looks on here. I've got to take it back off to the hub nut up and bleed the brakes and everything else, but yeah, here we go. All done. Nice and shiny calipers behind the wheels. Just looks standard, which is kind of what I was after. So, quite happy with that. On the final brake line, and like the other one that came before, it's also too short. <sighs> but I have managed to make them go, so now time a bit of brake fluid um, otherwise it seemed to look okay there you go so I hope it looks fitted up well predictably it's been a long day and you can probably hear me heating up a can of wax oil ready just to touch up the last few bits underneath but uh, I'm pretty much ready finally to drop this thing on the deck so the uh, brakes have all been bled with a bit of help and the vacuum bleeder handbrake's been adjusted the last few bolts have gone in actually Finally, um, the bolts have arrived from uh, from Retro Bolts. So they were ordered on the 19th for dispatch on the 24th of January. Um, it's now something like the 11th or 12th of February. So yeah, it's been it's been some time. Um, finally, they've arrived. So I've managed to just about get most of those in. Some I'll, I'll do when I redo the engine bay. Um, in the engine bay, everything's back up together. I've reconnected the um, the breather system for the oil. So hopefully. It won't be quite so smoky and uh, what else have I done? Or oh, just a couple of other bits and pieces under there really, just tidied everything up. So yeah, reckon we're ready to ready to drop this thing down here. I'll just give you a quick tour of the underside just so you can see what it looks like before I pop it on the deck. 
You see the pipes in there. Still haven't changed the springs at the back, but we will do that. Some nice shiny new bolts in there. You can see a little bit I've knocked. I need to touch in. I'm going to do that whilst it's up on the ramp, I think, probably. Underneath brake pipes have been replaced. Fuel tank's new. Everything's just up and together now, really. Might have been a tad precarious, but it's back on the ground. And I'm, to be honest, delighted. This is pretty much the end of phase one. Um, obviously a lot more to come, but let's see if, uh, if I can get anything when I move outside into the, uh, into the dark. But we'll see if I can see what it looks like. Can't wait to, to see what it looks like with the new rims on. Yes, it's dirty. Yes, the springs seem to settle a bit, but oh yes, I am very happy with how that looks. Well, that really is the end of phase one, but don't forget to like and subscribe for phase two.